Hi everyone, I'm Emily and I have small Emily and Liv here with me today. Um, go check out their channel. We just filmed a collab with them and did tarot reader versus psychic medium. It was super cool, so check that out. Um, today I am doing readings for both of them and we might get into some questions. Yeah. So we'll see. Is Prince Charming coming in? I have a question. Yes. A lot of people talk about tarot and yes and no and how you can't do it or no. Sometimes. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it depends. It de I feel it, like it can only give you guidance. They can me. give you guidance. But it's going to give me a yes or no. Yeah. Oh, God. It'll be, it'll be guidance wrapped in the yes or no. You guys want to say anything? Yes or no. Is Prince Charming coming in for a moment soon? Just allow it to happen. I feel like I block people from reading me. No. no, not that one. Not that one. <laughs> it's funny because a couple of them are getting stuck like they don't know what they want to say. Yeah. Oh, hi. Nine of Swords. Oh, that was reversed. <laughs> what does the Nine of Swords mean? Swords mean no, typically, but it's reversed. Yeah. And you're blocked uh -huh. to the answer. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, you're not really sure. She doesn't really want to know because it scares her. Yeah. Here, I'll, I'll try and let it happen. <laughs> does Emily have a Prince Charming? The last person that read me, uh, oh, that's she got does, blocked. but he's not coming right now. It's, it's gonna many. be a couple of years. Oh, God. I can't deal with that. <laughs> like five to seven. Who's like telling you that? Three, five, sevens. Knight. Knight of Pentacles slow moving. Okay. You guys, just tell me. Just tell me what's going on. I'll stop being confining. Prince Charming for the way. The deck thinks it's funny. Should I shuffle the cards? No. No? <laughs> it says no. No. Tiny. Knight of Cups. Yeah. He's gonna charm you. He's charming. Yep. God. He's gonna be smooth. Maybe a little annoying. But I don't know who they are, right? I, I know that's not a question for you. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think it's somebody that's in your life right now. It's somebody that's gonna come into your life. I don't know how to go. Let's see what other cards we got. Ace of Pentacles. It'll be a new start. It'll be good. Nice. Five of Wands reverse. There won't be a lot of conflict. It'll, it'll... Oh my god. Why so much? <laughs> King of Pentacles reverse. He won't be very entrepreneurial, but he might be very attractive. The four reversed. It's a new beginning that you don't want. <laughs> <laughs> Four of Swords, it won't reverse. It's. You're restless about it. Yeah, it's. <laughs> she doesn't want to think about it. No. Because there's it's not like. She's I don't, no, 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 no. No, but you, you might lose sleep over it at some point. The Emperor, he's going to be very powerful. Maybe intimidating. Do you want to say anything else? I feel like it's more like. It's gonna be something I can't ignore. I feel like he's gonna be very alluring. Yeah. Cause like, I feel like it's gonna be like. Yeah. Like the. Um, Prince Charming. Pride and persistent. Like the, the epitome of like sexy. You know how some people think that sexy is like a physical trait? Look at this card. I mean. Wow. <laughs> he's the hottest guy in this deck. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's gonna be like the epitome of sexiness. You're like it's gonna, you're gonna feel it in your bones. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stress. <laughs> I think he's just gonna like come in and totally like shock you. The wheel of fortune reversed. Yeah, it's gonna be slow. It's not anytime soon. Mm -hmm. Do you want to give me any clarity on timing, please? So. The deck you used first, why do you use that deck first? And why are you using know. this deck now? This one just wanted to talk. Mm. I just let them tell you when. Tell me when. How does that come through? Mm -hmm. 
failing. Got you. Can't tell you. <laughs> Just like a my head gets pulled towards it. I don't know. I like to get context. They talk to me, sort of. What's happening to her? Are there people behind her? Are there things behind her? Sorry, I was listening to things. What? <laughs> Always. <laughs> Is there things behind her? She always says that there's things behind people who read. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think you necessarily have things, you just have energy. Mm -hmm. You feel like there's like a cloud of energy around you, and it's it really is like a cloud, and it moves. Yeah. Is it her energy? I think it's just metaphysical energy in, mm -hmm. in general. Gotcha. It's like spirit. Well, we talked about how you're great great grandma w probably did mm -hmm. things like this yeah. and she was very spiritual mm -hmm. metaphysical and yeah. it definitely is like a family thing mm -hmm. you. um and i feel like she might help you with it as well interesting yeah my mom and my cousin my aunt all have similar abilities all right so there's a lot of potential with this and you don't want to see it with the star reverse. There is some clarity coming after the Wheel of Fortune, so things are going to have to shift though. There's some sort of big change that's going to prompt it um, and a new beginning. A lot about new beginnings, so it's going to be, there might be other new beginnings happening when this man comes in. Yeah. Like there might be something else big shifting, like other, other life events. And you're gonna feel like you need to be more modest and balanced. Like, no, it's it's fine. It'll be, it'll be okay. I hate modest. modest and like all that the stuff of that society tells women to be. Gotcha. But it's gonna be <laughs> something. He's gonna be very balanced. Like he's very like th this emperor energy. Like has this power that just comes through. Oh, it's very grounded. Very very grounded. Um, and he might be a little psychic, too, with that Princess of Cups. He might know. Oh, yeah, he's definitely going to come at you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we got Five of Wands reversed again. Yeah, so it's not going to... It'll be... It, it could be a time after conflict has happened and feeling like there's a lot of blocks. But yeah, he's going to really, like, charge at you. Maybe it's feeling... A, like a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, but he do he doesn't like conflict either, though. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. This is the more masculine energy. Mm -hmm. Feeling weak. Blockages to things going well. Like what you want to happen isn't. Yeah, like insecurities has, but they might be diverging. What do you mean? Two of Wands can either be like seeing into the future, but it, it's usually two paths. Ah. <laughs> but it's like two different ways to go. Neither one is usually bad with Two of Wands, it's just that there's two. That's all it's telling me. Seven of Cups. There's new options. So my spirit guides tell me about this. This that there's a decision I have to make, and I have to make the decision in order for prosperity and abundance. What is that? What is the decision? They've been telling me this for a year. <laughs> is that what you're talking about? Because that's the uh, the fort. They're like it's. You're yeah. going to not be able to avoid the, the decision. It's too many. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> it was like so much energy. What when? Yeah. I know it looks since five to six years, but I can't. <laughs> Let's do when is the comp. Or like when is the change? Okay. Timing for the change, please. D eight days. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, or five months. Oh, five months. Eight five. I like your deck. It makes me happy. Thanks. 
Alan likes to tell people what to do. This one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What does this one like to do? Call you out. <laughs> It calls you out, but like in a girly way. Yes. Like a total. It's very feminine. Mm -hmm. That's why it has a high pitch energy. <laughs> it's kind of screaming. It's loud. <laughs> it sings. <laughs> it sings. Like the guinea pig <laughs> bagel. <laughs> like bagel. <laughs> Check out our video if you want to know about bagel. <laughs> I forgot we were filming. <laughs> I know. I'm like, oh god. <laughs> All right. What do you want to tell him? Do you want to give advice? What do you want to tell her? Can I ask a card meeting? Yeah. What is the Knights of Cups in reverse? The this card keeps falling out of the stack when I talk about this. Knight of Cups can go two ways. The Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups can yeah. be that there's somebody coming into your life who's very charming, like in this deck it says yeah, charmer, seducer, yes. lover, and it can also be um, your emotions and learning to use them and like move them, because knights are about movement. Um, yeah, and pages reverse, tell you on. Um, <laughs> and uh, they tell you, you need to go, stop trying to learn, you need to do, but yeah, knights in reverse sometimes or, well, yeah, in reverse, it will tell you about taking a pause that you're blocked with your emotions and you're blocking this, like, person to come through. Alright, so this is advice. Stop trying to be super logical about everything, especially your emotions. Yeah, you can't be logical about your emotions. You're just going to... That's how I my block problems. the feeling of them. Block. They have to move. Your emotions have to move, and if you're in your head too much, you can't feel it, um, and it's gonna affect your work too. You're gonna have to feel like things need to be too, too rigid, and um, that you have to like really push, push, push it, and that's going to make you like come at life with this like. kind of black based and sort of like I need not things. knowing every step of everything yeah and being like worried <laughs> about not knowing every step of everything and like no I need to I need to hold on to everything like I have to I have to have this close grasp I know exactly how things are going to go and like yeah, making 14 lists in a sauna at two o'clock in the morning <laughs> Our business, I know exactly what steps we're going to take, I know exactly where we're going to go, I know exactly how we're going to do it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're saying that's like a lot, and you're not giving enough room for... Um, yeah, it's they're telling me to chill out. <laughs> feel fun. I do the same thing in this. Oh, I, Are not I'm a Virgo. It needs to shake up. <laughs> it needs to be rattled, or y it might just happen. Like, it could just... You could be thrown off of your plan, of your like. This is exactly how it's gonna go, and then it just doesn't. But it, you need it. Yeah, it needs to be more fun. Is this career based? Yeah. This one. Is this, where's the decision? Is there a decision in my career, or is it? Where's, love? where's the decision? I need to know what the decision is. <laughs> is okay. I thought we were still before. talking about love. I think it, it correlates. It started to blend with that one. There was a transition. Yeah. I just t asked it, what, do you want to tell me? And... <laughs> I missed yep. what I was thinking about food. <laughs> <laughs> what's, the what's, what's the decision, right? Yeah, is it love or career? I want you to do something else. Self! <laughs> yeah, you need two parts. Okay. Why are you being so quiet? So when I tell you what it, it doesn't is. want to tell me. Because no, nothing wants to tell me. They're just like, you have this decision. You'll know when it happens. You're doing fine. I thought I was sick of hearing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you're finding clarity on what it is. 
It's coming. Every time I get clarity, it goes away. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're scared of the clarity. Mm -hmm. You don't want to yep, know okay. the answer. Because you think it'll mess up everything else. Yep, that tells me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, though. What's that going to tell you? I can't get a good read on him right now, like energetically. It's because he's in a box. He's very, he's, he's very <laughs> hard for Liv's mom to read too. very distant. Mm -hmm. I just want to know, I feel like he's already starting it. Maybe start with what our relationship but he's is now. he's doing it passively. Because he's, he's a very quiet person. And he's not, he doesn't like... This light is warm. Like if something bothers him, he won't tell you about it. He'll just deal with it himself. It's like a brick wall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the big old wall that he surrounds <sighs> himself with. That's why I just ignore him. <laughs> I don't think I've ever met him. Maybe once. I don't think you've ever met him. I love Jared. <laughs> I'm the one that talks to her. Like, yeah. Like, let's talk about this. And he's like, Prince, yep. Prince Charming is going to talk your ear off. He's gonna, you're gonna find him probably annoying. But he's gonna be so nice. Very grounded. Maybe he does sales. I don't know. Okay. Nine of Pentacles reverse. It's not luxurious, your relationship. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not very... And with pentacles, it's cold, even. We'll talk about fresh starts. Oh, now we're talking. Everything's reversed. Not a good sign with a relationship. <laughs> um, there's <laughs> no spark. Wands are very fiery. Especially with relationships. Why are you all reversed? You all want to come out? No. No. <laughs> um, there's like no passion. Yeah. And there's like some... Yeah, the nuts. Something about those with him. He's like a hard, like a nut. Um, and like, and it makes him naive though, because he's so blocked that he can't see the bigger picture. Makes sense. What about their relationship? He's a Taurus. Yeah. Tauruses are very. That's why the higher friend flipped. That's the higher friend. They're very thick headed. They're always right. Oh, they're always right. I dated one years ago. Just, <laughs> just I surround story. myself with Tauruses. <laughs> Why? They call me. I, it's bad because I'm an Aries. <laughs> I'm literally the opposite of them. My yeah. mother's a Taurus. All of the boys in my relationship, like in my life, are Tauruses. Oh my god. <laughs> All of them, except for my dad. This guy coming in could be a chatty Capricorn. Oh, so cute. That's what I was getting. It was Alexis energy. Alexis is a Capricorn. Mm -hmm. She just fucking talks all I'm day a, long. I'm a Capricorn, but I'm a little more reserved. I'm a uh, you're a Capricorn too? I'm that a, makes so much I'm sense. I'm a December Capricorn, so I'm a little quieter. The January Capricorns are chatty. You might be yeah, I feel like Capricorns are like very... They say Capricorn. We can't. Be. <laughs> I don't like to tell people. That. You know, it's it's funny because Capricorns and Aries are not supposed to go together. But I I love me a Capricorn. It's because I, I have a Virgo. Aries. I love Aries, and you want to know why? Because my Aries is in Lilith. Ah. <laughs> so we look crazy. What's your moon? Cancer. Emotional. <laughs> I love me a Cancer too. <laughs> that explains so much. <laughs> Okay, you guys got a lot of burden. It's weighing on you. This thing is heavy, and it's, um, like, you're taking responsibility for things in this relationship that you shouldn't be taking responsibility for. Like, you're carrying too much for him. You're carrying too much of his, like, 
garbage nuts. <laughs> just to like, like I just like see these and it's just like these like brown rocks. Interesting. Yeah, they're metaphorical. The temperance is reversed. Again, I can't give you insight on that either until later. That's fine. <laughs> I'm just saying things that show up. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I don't have any idea what's going on. I think it's very clear to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have very clear direction of what's happening. <laughs> but I'm very much like, everything's fine, everything's fine. He doesn't validate you. Mm -mm. He doesn't, like, see your accomplishments as something to celebrate. <laughs> Something's gonna end. <laughs> Oh, but it's gonna be balanced and fair. Yeah, I feel it's like gonna, it'll be fine. That's a very loud card. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a very loud card. I'm gonna touch it. Sorry. It's fine. Oh, the death card. <laughs> <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Followed by justice. It'll be fair and balanced. Yeah, that makes sense to me. It's gonna be amicable. <laughs> uh, let's see, anything else you wanna give me about this relationship? It, but yeah, will you explain these two cards again? Yeah, so so the the death card is about things ending. Um, but what comes after the death card is the transformation and a rebirth and something new and fresh and usually a transformation of self. But death can be endings of like cycles. It can also be endings of um, selves, like phases and seasons or things. And in this case relationships um, but justice is very balanced it's very fair very amicable card and so whatever this ending is it'll be um very smooth and um there there won't be this um like a five of wands upright type of energy which means a lot of conflict um and like a lot of conflicting things it's it's very yeah but it'll it'll make you very introspective yeah five of ones reversed again yeah it's not going to be con conflicting it's going to be very um yeah amicable. amicable very amicable kind of calm quiet very much of like internally here's where i'm at like that's what well, that's that card is funny. This well, one that just flipped. This one, yeah. The ten it of keeps swords coming out the same way. <laughs> yeah. Ten of swords reverse. It'll. It's that's good reverse though. We're fine with that reverse. Um, that one talks about um healing traumas, and um, pulling old swords out of your back. Um, in this deck, it's a picture of a, a, be a figure being on the ground with ten swords in their back bleeding out. And um, it's when it's in reverse, it's pulling those swords out. By but you, this card usually comes up for me in the reverse when the person who uh, had the pain, had the trauma, is learning to heal themselves, and they are pulling those old, those swords out of their That's own back. Me. It's not someone else doing it for them. They've learned to heal, yeah. and. Um, they're they're healing those wounds and taking them out and letting them go literally out get yeah, rid of the sword that makes sense yeah because i feel like when it first started happening where jared was triggering me mm -hmm. um it was like adding more swords i didn't know why it was happening mm. yeah yeah but um so I, I had that card come up um, for somebody else who I was doing like a bunch of readings for um, and they were working on healing a lot of old weird traumas <laughs> um, and and learning how to figure them out being triggered a lot so that card may be telling you that a lot of stuff could come up and very quickly and um, it might be a lot that you have to heal like all at once um, but that you can you have the tools you can pull those swords out of your back. Do you want to see anything else? That's what I see. 
<laughs> now do you now. live? Live. What would you like your reading on? I want to know about my gifts and my fiance. Okay. And Liz's a psychic medium, so yes. her psychic medium gifts. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> they don't know you. I left <laughs> literal presents that I could carry around if they're like, tell me about this gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literal presents. What's in here? Interesting. I know I saw that one turn upside down and then it like shot back out for you, like, not this one. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I knew you flipped. That one's a very angelic card, the judgment card in this deck. Oh. What? Hmm. She gets that card a lot. Judgment. Judgment. It's I need some red jasper. <laughs> it's, the, it's the spiritual awakening card. I'm funny. It's cute. It's also one of um, reflection and self-evaluation and... Um, I think it's more of that. <laughs> yeah. And like... Um, it has to do with my spiritual things. And probably. then like a, a mirror. Yeah. Sometimes it'll it'll be talking about like a, a mirror, like seeing things through a mirror and seeing things more clearly. So uh, with it reversed, it's like the... Something still a little... Upside down angels make me nervous. Yeah. yeah, I just like didn't even it, they didn't even give me the word. Um, okay, interesting. We have temperance reverts and that showed up for you too. I'll stop talking. Sorry, um, it's okay. We have very connected paths. Yeah, that helps you out. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense with the temperance reverse. Honestly, one of the things that's been bothering me is I don't want to do this because I love my my fiance so much. Obviously, so it's hard. Yeah, but. Um, I don't know if I'm more important in my life right now than yeah. starting a life. Every time someone reads us, our cross, our paths cross somehow. Mm. There's, there's a. It's just telling me about your gifts right now, and you. It's very you focus with this temperance card. So we'll get to the other part in a second. Um, it's telling me you don't lie to yourself. Which is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a really strong need to... This light being upside down is bothering me. Like, there's something... But it's, like, stuck. Like... What's stuck? Mm -hmm. Her power. Uh, uh, Self-confidence? Yeah, something. Mm -hmm. Self-confidence and, like, your abilities are so big that you're scared of them oh yeah <laughs> and they're they feel bigger than you yeah mm -hmm. they feel bigger than you they're not okay that's what i wanted to say yeah they're not but it feels like it because they're really intense I and like i she feel thinks she doesn't feel them. like you think they're too much it's very mental this is all in your head though it's it's because i'm a mental medium <laughs> yeah it's all what your ego, mm, mm -hmm. yeah, the human, the, your human body thinks you can't hold all of it in, yeah, mm -hmm. it's too oh, much, I know, isn't that so cool, this it's moon card, crazy dragon, 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 and the purple rose, it looks just like that purple rose, mm -hmm. um, it's giving you a lot of anxiety, yeah, because mm -hmm. you're feeling my anxiety right now, yeah, oh my, it's right <laughs> uh <-huh>. here, yeah, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like this, uh, like you can't always get the words out. Um, that's why it's so So my thing is I, stressful. I try to, I think my ego subconsciously dampens my gifts because I get scared that if I don't keep a handle on them, I will become crazy. Yeah, the moon card is giving me, like, you're gonna feel like a crazy witch lady with the moon. Um, mm -hmm. I already do. And, um, it's very restless. It's so restless. Oh, it's giving you some uh, depression. Every day. Um, that, yeah, that nine of swords with the four of swords reversed is anxiety with depression. Um, but it's restless, too, because it's like, um, all this power is knocking around inside your ribcage. That's where I feel it. Um, and it's, uh, it wants to come out. Like, it's really happy I'm channeling it right now. Mm -hmm. And, um, it's like giving it a voice. Um, it, it wants, it's gonna be stable. It's, um, not going to overwhelm you. Yeah, and there's some blockages to letting it out. 
Mm, it's feeling better though. It's it feels when like you, you say it. You mean her gift? Yeah, yeah. It's like because it's not from me. It's not you. It's uh, it's just energy. Like it's this ball that she's holding. Um, it's separate from you. And then you feel it like right here, like right where it is under. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel it like abdomen, chest mm -hmm. area. Yeah, but it's it'll be easier to control when you let it out and let it just flow and stop trying to restrict it so much because that restriction is giving it more intensity to break out yeah and it's feeling like you don't well, does it want me to just walk around and talk to crystals all the time because like that's where i cut it off <laughs> yeah like, um like why am i talking to rings why are three rings talking to me? That's an inanimate object. It's not even a stone or a tarot card. Why is it like we like to be together? Other people that buy us or buy the things that we are just like lose us, don't put us together, or they break us. But this girl wears us in, in together, like how we're supposed to be worn, and nobody else gets it. Because these things feel like they, um, people are emotionally disconnected from them, and they are. They have their own entities and they feel like they've been left out in the cold and so you giving them space to speak is like giving their energy like what they wanted to do in the world you're helping them to do it by saying what they're trying to tell you inanimate objects yeah doesn't make sense. <laughs> energy. Again, my know, ego energy. in the way. Your ego's in the way. I can feel that. The swords are heavy. They're really intense. Mm -hmm. The wands want to be reversed. That's a lot of fire and spiritual energy. And like the pentacles are saying, you're grounded. You need to ground yourself when you like let go, though. So make sure you do something to keep things okay. <laughs> <laughs> Balance. Yeah. Um, It feels like you have no option like with the your gifts it's like you, you I feel like I can either fully open them and it scares me which is why I don't want to do it or I can try to give readings like I gave to you where I second guess myself and I keep things closed off yeah you're not supposed to that's what that. everyone tells me it's, <laughs> it's really now. it yeah. struggles mm. it's, it's like I can't um, breathe it's so uh, I don't even know how to voice it's so much energy it's yeah um like I feel like I want to cry all the time I wasn't being sarcastic or facetious when I said I have like existential crises at least yeah. five times a day yeah, I can feel that with the judgment reversed yeah um yeah it's giving me there's there's those two options with the two of wands two options to to either um, it's funny because Seven of Cups reversed is, can talk about don't, don't fall into shiny object syndrome and don't like let other people sway your decisions for what you do. Like don't take other people into account because they will try to tell you to knock it off. They will tell you you're not supposed to do it. People will tell you you're too much and they're gonna try to yeah people telling you too much is gonna just make you break down and fall apart and it's just not gonna have like a good um, a repercussion yeah and it'll cause you to second-guess yourself the more you worry about what everyone else feels honestly and thinks especially about what you can do the more you are actually going to dislike it just like my gifts yes mm -hmm. and and the more it's just gonna you're just gonna fall apart like emotionally and just um break down and it's just gonna be too much it's gonna it's how i feel i'm on the teeter of every day because mm -hmm. i'm like do i just walk around openly about who i am and not care about what people think mm -hmm. or do i continue to like keep it quiet and not i feel like i'm embracing my mediumship but i've never i'm still not fully embracing it to the point right. where I'm yeah. like, hi, my name's Olivia and I'm a medium because I feel like that's what I need to do, mm -hmm. but it terrifies me and I can't because mm -hmm. I'm afraid of what everyone else will think. Yeah. You're planting seeds. Mm -hmm. And I also like how you're, did you notice that when you were doing Emily's tarot card reading, you just kind of like threw the cards down and mm -hmm. it wasn't an 
and this is like, <laughs> yeah, because this is how it's I think. So organized. I like to keep them all like that. Like if I was doing a reading, I like that all the edges are touching. I like that there's like the little spaces here. But with Emily, you're just like they can lay on top of each other. Which yeah. Is the so I just think the energy it's, that I am. I want chaotic. to, I want to uh, just point it out that yeah. if you are watching this, watch how Emily's cards were or like rewind and see how right. they were laid out versus how she's like, why not? They were kind of messy, especially over here. Like the closer <laughs> they got to her, the more chaotic they got. Um, this is very controlled. You need to let go of control because it's not helping. You need to be more free. Stop putting yourself in this perfect little grid-like structure. Mm -hmm. um, because it feels like such a relief, my goodness. Like, the energy is like, I feel it in the rest of my body. It's moved to my arms. Um, Do you feel like tingling, like pins and needles? It's not tingling. It's, um, well, it's kind of tingling. It's not painful. No, it's not painful. The past couple, it's, I want to say like um, three or four days, I've been getting like... I feel it down here. Tingling. But if I touch it, it feels weird. <laughs> um, it's it's like energy. It's like a current. Yeah, I think for you. Spiritual, like, like a, a lighthouse. Say that again. Sorry. Spiritual lighthouse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How do you mean lighthouse? Like, she is one? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what I call you. I know. Like this beacon and you give up so much light. Yes. It's so much. That's it's like really are attracted to you. Lighthouse. It's really, um, there's so much power coming up from the ground. Goodness. Oh my God. Yeah. So there's, you need to, um, embrace it because this will help you create more. Um, and the more you let it come out, the better it'll feel like this when I'm, I'm trying to like pull the energy around um, and it feels so much better. Like you're gonna have so much um, flowing through you um, and feel it like everything. It, it's not actually gonna overwhelm you. No, overwhelming it's, me is when I don't embrace it. That's yeah. when I get overwhelmed and anxious and depressed. And honestly coming here today and just being able to talk about spiritual, metaphysical, spooky, ooky, like weird like your rings yeah. are talking to yes. me stuff it's therapeutic yeah. it's like what yeah. i need that's why i like being yeah. around spiritual people oh it's such a relief um i don't sound crazy mm -hmm. um of why do you pick that deck i don't know it just told me to i just want to um, know how it comes through for you yeah it just like because it, it tells, tells you this, what gifts you have this deck is going to explain everything and then yeah. these ones are going to answer my questions yeah yes. just, just so that you can know who i am yes <laughs> it's giving me so much um yeah, so the, the more you embrace it, the more it'll... Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. Was that a good one down there? It, um, <laughs> no, this is the energy she's coming from, of it feeling like a burden. Do you, no. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, it feels heavy because it's boxed in because it's caged she won't let it flow. and when you let it flow because i'm trying to like move it um and the more you let it flow you'll feel it in your arms i don't know why it's very strong um but it feels really good like it's bright it's so bright it's like this ring light bright white current and you'll feel really connected to everything around you like it'll just be this kind of like hum and this like mm, like full experience with the world like you can experience so much more than most people and that's overwhelming and your ego doesn't want you to do that because it's weird it's not normal but it's better um that's how we're supposed to be um and it's um when you embrace it and really allow Things, things are going to happen very fast, very fast, and good things are going to come in, and it'll bring you a lot of business. Um, it'll, you'll see future more. Like, you'll be able to envision things and how they will work out, but it'll really be fluid and flow. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. Because I try to block out future because future freaks me out and I feel like that's too much power to try and wield and think that you can. Yeah. So mm. when people ask me for future, I always say, well, I can't really give you future because future always changes. But 
we were talking to Emily's friend's baby, and he told me that his delivery was going to be fine and there wasn't going to be any problems. And then three weeks later... It was. Well, three weeks later, he told me that he was in the wrong position oh. and that he was stuck and felt weird. And I was like, I don't want to talk talked. about this yeah. because it makes me nervous that three weeks ago he told me mm-hmm. and, like, Spirit told me that everything was going to be fine. It was going to mm-hmm. be a quick, easy delivery. Mm-hmm. But now he's physically telling me mm-hmm. that he's stuck and in a weird position. So mm-hmm. I told her and I said, that's why I don't like to tell future things because yeah. they can always change. Mm-hmm. But I was talking to her husband because he came into my work a couple days ago. Mm-hmm. Oh, he, you're talking <laughs> he literally said... Oh, yeah, he was breached, and he was in the wrong position, and he was stuck on one side, Mm -hmm. but he fixed himself, and now it's fine, which goes back to the original future of that everything's going to be fine. Yes. And I was just like... Also, they didn't have to push on her stomach, because she's worried about that. You... But they would have to put her in place. You just didn't see, like, the bumps to the future. Yeah, which is why I don't like to talk about the future. So, like, it's always different. Like, I can tell you something right now, but then what if you do something based off of what I say, and everything gets changed yeah sometimes that happens i mean i always put the disclaimer on my videos like this is just a reading on the current energies it's always subject to change and we always have free will so Mm -hmm. things can always shift and change and be very mutable and sometimes this information comes up so that way you can do something with it and change things so maybe just giving people that disclaimer of like the information i'm giving you will shift things that i'm currently seeing oh i do so um Mm -hmm. but then they don't sometimes i feel like they don't like that because they're like well other mediums say that i they can do this and i'm like well i'm not that well they're hokey (laughs) they should be telling them five of cups to the tower to the five of swords what does that mean? <laughs> I don't do tarot. Other people's emotions oh. make you second guess yourself and it'll make things really hard. It's gonna Yeah, the tower is like shaken chaotic. It's so chaotic. And things like rough. And fives are unstable. And fives are so unstable. So it's like people's emotions towards you will make you dislike yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I don't want to say... this deals with truth, the swords cards. Yes. And this deals with emotions, the cups card. Mm -hmm. And they're both fives, which are unstable. Yeah, so mentally unstable due to other people's unstable emotions. And, like, the that's... Their emotions towards you, if you listen, is going to be what causes all this mental anguish. Mm, Yeah. Um, But you're not supposed to listen to them. You're supposed to feel it. You're not even really supposed to. Oh, listen and to you were saying hands. So I don't know anything about Reiki besides that people like envision colors and use the energy from their body to the energy of someone else's body to mm-hmm. make them feel better. Mm-hmm. And I've always seen colors um, associated with things. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that I do, like um, before I started embracing all of our my medium stuff stuff, because we mm-hmm. started doing our channel and our business in like January, December. Mm. I would say it was the summer before, or just that summer Mm -hmm. uh, of 2020, Mm -hmm. that I started getting so much energy, Mm -hmm. and I do feel it in my hands. It's like in my palms. Mm -hmm. I feel like energy can come out, and also one of the things that I do to help ground myself physically, and I know it sounds really silly, but maybe to metaphysical people it won't, Mm -hmm. is I get all this energy in my hands, and I feel it in my chest. Mm -hmm. I would go outside and I like to walk barefoot, but I have to specifically be barefoot and I'll sit with my hands on the ground Mm -hmm. and my feet on the Mm -hmm. ground and I push the energy out into the ground because it's so overwhelming to Mm -hmm. me that I feel like I'm going to catch on fire. (laughs) Like I feel like I need to run around and then also Mm -hmm. cry at the same time. Yeah. So maybe you should learn how to use that energy through Reiki. That's probably the most constructive criticism that I need. <laughs> you need a Reiki mask. That way you can push it out. But the yeah. other thing that I so do... Like, mm-hmm. If you're watching this video and you're a Reiki master, <laughs> please <out>. contact us. <laughs> <laughs> I need some help. I got a lot. But I think it's funny that you say it's in your hands and in your chest. because mm-hmm. It's like flowing up like this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. All right, sassy deck. Give right. me some answers right. now that this one has told you all of my this secrets. One wants to be uh, <laughs> gone. Okay, that was heavy. Um, wants to be back in the deck. All right. Okay. Okay. Fine. Okay. Jeez, so urgent. <laughs> it's like we got a lot to say. <sighs> okay. This one wants a space. Do you want to do more relationship type stuff? What do you want to say? 
um, just how my gifts will influence my relationship. Okay. Because right now, I feel like I've had like two or three instances so far that my um, I've almost broken off my relationship. Mm. But it's my own insecurities and my mm. own I think my own feeling of having to be in this relationship like I've come too far and I feel attached to it mm. like physically as well as spiritually mm -hmm. but there's other like physical and spiritual things that are telling me that I need to do things for myself mm -hmm. and not for other people and that's something that I just can't do so yeah, I don't know. Mm. Mm. I'm not going to answer it. <laughs> like, um, literally right before we moved in um, back to my family's house to save more money, it was actually, like, the, uh, like, us moving that my fiancé would help with. Mm. And I was like, I do everything, and I literally asked you that I no, needed please. help. And uh, you weren't helping me, and this is the second time that I've needed you physically to help me and I've told you and you weren't there for me so what am I supposed to expect when we have other things that I physically need you for and I tell you and you're not there for me mm -hmm. and now that I'm saying it I, he doesn't believe in my gifts he 100% thinks that I'm just crazy but he tells me that he still loves me it doesn't matter so it like transcends his whatever um so I think he's trying to be there for me when I need him in this instance, even though he doesn't believe in it. But also I think it's going to cause problems in the long run. These ones are about him. Okay. <laughs> That's why they're in a pile. Because <laughs> I really do love him a lot, but I'm having a lot of internal turmoil about the long term with him. Truth, 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 truth. so much heat in his head. Truth, 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 truth. Okay, I'm going to stop pulling cards. I oh have no, enough. keep going. <laughs> I have enough for him. I want to tell you. So far, we start off with the hermit, um, which means introspection, being alone. Um, that was pretty loud. Um, <laughs> going within, you know the answers. I don't even really need to tell you. You already know, but the cards are just reiterating. Like, yes. well, feel that you can tell. Um, and well, then, the first thing that made me think about this is you pulled this card and she's like very bare and she's yeah. looking at herself in the mirror and like coming down to like the bare of what everything mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. and she needs to just look at it and deal with yeah. it and I'm like, I can't do that. Yeah, yeah very much of um, like come to Jesus, but not Jesus, <laughs> um, <laughs> just metaphorically speaking. Um, there's some more that wants to come out in the book. Okay, all right. Um, some quote, soul searching, finding the truth. Mm. Soul searching tends to be a solo journey. You may be feeling, finding yourself withdrawing from social activities and retreating inside yourself. You're seeking your true, your deep inner truth and defining your core values. You're seeking alignment and finding new ways to live, basically. Mm. Um, but there's some delays to progress with the Eight of Wands reversed. There's a lot of blocks, and the blocks is you don't want to be yourself. Yeah, I'm scared. Yep. The truth chakra. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, the Queen of Wands is in the upright. She is the party queen. She is herself. She does not care what anybody else thinks. She does not care what anyone else does. She has her ragers and she loves it, but she's also a boss and she's her full self expressed. She does not care about society or what men think or what anyone else says. But you have it in reverse. But it's in reverse. So it's because the that's how opposite. I feel. <laughs> yeah. You Which have the lack of it. it. Yeah. Literally total. wearing the outfit that I wore today was a big step for me and it's not even anything crazy. It fits you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank I appreciate it. You're welcome. Again, validation. Yes. I just, and then I feel like I'm being too needy by saying the things that I need to talk about that I think about all the time. Because I'm like, I'm here to help other people, not myself. Here's the thing. <laughs> you got to help yourself first. Because if you don't put on your oxygen mask, you can't put on anyone else's. Also, because I don't think the camera got it. Take should out of your vocabulary. It'll be better for the world. Um... You have two paths. You don't want to see either one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are the paths? Does it not say it? It doesn't say yet. Um, I'll ask. Okay. You, your relationship, you give 
more than you receive. Oh, yeah. You don't get much. No, I don't. I feel like and it's for everyone, though. Yeah, there's so much... Uh, like you get to drain from it. Yeah. yeah, it's hard on you. It brings up a lot of resistance. Like, you, there's this one last thing that if you just, like, were yourself and stopped putting yourself in the way, then um, you could get something completed, some level. It's the two paths that I'm trying to merge into one. And I can't. <laughs> it's not clear. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the paths cool. aren't clear. <laughs> yeah, they're not clear. Can you give me a little bit? A little, please. Oh, you're talking with the deck? Yes. Yeah, the paths aren't clear. clear. I feel like, and I don't know how to do both of those, so I'm trying to do both of them at the same time. It's, it's stressing a lot me too. out. Yeah, this is my chaos. This is what I already know, and I have them all lined up in my head, but I don't want to deal with them, and now they're just yelling at me. Mm -hmm. in disorganized fashion because they know it'll piss me off I just opened up a well <laughs> mm -hmm. there's a lot of it I'm also trying to like tamp down my energy a little bit for you when I read her tarot cards these are the type of cards that come <laughs> out just me. give them all to you yeah. <laughs> they're like oh god <laughs> do this all want to come out <laughs> they're like yes she has <laughs> opened up the door, we all ready to talk about this. I don't even have to room it. for the organized ones anymore. We haven't even gotten to him. That, I don't even need any more cards on him. I can tell you exactly what all oh. that means. I literally don't need anything more. I didn't even need the King of Cups reversed, but pff, here we are. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's very easy to read. He's Once you get past that little wall, it's very easy. You know exactly queen. everything about this you. fake you ice queen wall. He's very yeah. feminine. Mm -hmm. My mom calls yes. him dancer body. He's very. But he <laughs> pretends to. He not came be. up as a queen. <laughs> and then a, another, like, emotional king. Um, okay. Goodness. We have anxiety again. Always, <laughs> always anxiety <sighs> that makes me depressed. Where do you start when you have this many cards out? Try to go in order. Okay. Sorry. Because you read cards very interestingly. I've never seen someone read this many cards at once. They all wanted to come out. What is this one? Because this one is what started all lack of Lack of clarity. Mm. And I asked lack of clarity around what? The two paths that I'm trying to turn into <laughs> yeah. one. And they're like, it's complicated. And it was like, it's complicated. And I was like, can you give me a little bit? And this <laughs> is the little bit. So... They're like, you um, can't build a, a, a path out of stone I don't and then even decide know to use many... gravel and then use dirt and then fall down a little bit and then decide to use tiles from Kmart. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. This is overwhelming, which I'm not surprised. Which is why it's overwhelming. This is how I feel every day. Yeah. Oh my god. There's so much. Okay. Okay. There's this unwillingness to let something go. And there's a transition that needs to happen. That relates to this instability and the instability is causing a lot of conflict it's causing a lot of fears and enslavement to those fears to come up and you're like but I'll fall prey to these things that are bad and like all of this stuff and if I just block it and manipulate it it'll go so much better and then it's just gonna explode and cause massive issues I think in your body um, and um, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, um, the more you, um, try to micromanage, mm, mm, micromanage. That's what I do all the time, it, <laughs> is I enable and micromanage. The, uh, worse it'll feel. And, um, you're not gonna win trying to, um, micromanage everything. Yeah, blockages and, and being like, but I'll, I'll fall into this stuff of like, it's, I'm just gonna fall into the pit of the devil and all of these temptations are gonna come get me, like in the Garden of Eden, it's just gonna be the worst, and then I'm just gonna block everything off and control it because I can't validate myself. Um, so she's scared to make a decision? Yeah, she's scared to make a decision because that she's worried she's gonna pick the wrong one, okay? Um, <laughs> just, yeah, because right. it'll affect a lot of people because it'll affect a lot of people but the thing is 
being afraid of it actually will cause you to focus on the wrong one um and it'll it'll be really tempting to take the easy route of blocking um because the blockage just makes you um manipulative mm. Okay, that one to come out, um, and it it it'll cause you to the word I'm just getting right now is lose. You'll lose things, um, and that'll cause you a lot of anxiety, and that'll be a huge, huge blockage to like creation. Um, and so it's really saying go within. You have the answers, but you um, are trying to overthink them, um, and there's a lot of healing that needs to be done. There's a lot of trauma. We got the Ten of Swords reversed again. That's what I was talking about with you. Um, Lots of this trauma. card of pulling the swords out of your bag. My whole um, existence. It probably lives too, because we're the same human. Yeah, I get it. I have a lot of trauma that I've processed as well and still keeps coming up fun. Triggers are great. Um, yeah. The going within is going to help. It, something needs to slow down um, and <laughs> it just stopped <laughs> okay um, what do you mean like sometimes when I'm channeling the words are just probably my spirit guides throwing things at me language um, and <laughs> sometimes it'll just cut off um i don't think he knows because yeah. there's not a strong sense of knowing that he's doing this but it's causing your heart to fall apart in pieces it does hurt <laughs> like, like literally the other this, day but, but he, it's straight up causing a massive like heart picture. break <laughs> my heart always hurts <laughs> <laughs> a lot of emotions um that's the heartbreak card that's not a good sign for relationships it's not a good omen. Um, What's the green man upside down? That's the manipulated <laughs> manipulator. Uh, Cups deal with emotions he's, and kings deal with power. Can um, you pull three more cards for him? I feel like you like three. Ones. Okay. A little more amicable. There's a little more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We're like, they're already out. <laughs> they're already out. The entire here. deck. <laughs> yeah, a whole deck. I just want to know if I should stay with him and have him make his decision. Okay, you Thank wanted you. three and you got five. And for the top card is the death, death card. card. Oh my god. Oh my god, you guys are literally doing the same thing. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean it. <laughs> oh, and we got three of pentacles reversed again, just a different deck. Oh. Um, out in the cold, wasted effort, lack of teamwork, Jeez. endings. Oof. Oof. Yeah, he doesn't have um, any clarity on what he's telling you about stability and teamwork. He's just saying it out of a trauma response because he's afraid of endings because that's all he went through was things ending. Um, and yeah, he's, he never had a beginning. He's worried about feeling completely isolated and alone and things being a wasted effort. And I feel like um, that's how he'll feel if I ever leave him. But how he feels is not your job. You can't tell a Leo that. Yeah. <laughs> Leos need to protect everyone else. Emily hates themselves. Katara from Avatar yeah. because all she does is mom people. It's also but that's me. who your best friend is. <laughs> it's also my trauma. I'm a Leo rising. <laughs> that's why when I look at Liv and I'm like, oh my god, you just exist my trauma everywhere. Oh my god. You know what my rising is? What? Scorpio. No! <laughs> I love Scorpio. me a Scorpio too. I hide everything. You know, when people pull cards for me, I'm like, oh no. Oh no, what are you gonna find? Oh god. You have to manipulate. You don't have to control. You don't have to be in that super intense emperor reversed energy. Because um, things I can tell are not progressing how you want, but you're blocking power. With the high priestess reverse, you're blocking your psychic gifts. Um, what's blocking her psychic gifts? Not recognizing her power and like, oh, um, gotcha. Controlling things. 
want thinking that she can control how things work out. Always. Like you. Um, <laughs> uh huh. Um, but like him, you also got the Seven of Pentacles reversed as wasted effort. Um, and the Five of Swords reversed, which is that like mental anguish type of thing, but you're working out of it. Yeah, when it's reversed, it's like there's there's been a lot of that in the past, but both of you are learning to work through it on your own, I heard. Okay. Um, but there's deception. Where? Son of Swords. But from him or from me? Yeah. Something's unbalanced and it's unfulfilling. In her relationship? In her... That's all I can think of. <laughs> yeah, that's probably all herself. I can think of. I <laughs> uh, oh, I just heard you need to find out. Okay. Yeah. When you say hear, do you hear it in your head? Yes. Do you mm -hmm. hear someone speaking? Yes. Hmm. Is it you in your voice? Could be. So well, is it in your devil? voice? Yeah, See, this card comes out for her 24 7. It just started doing it though. Because I've been thinking about all of these things. Well, when I read you, that card comes out. It means over and over again. Traditionally, which I, it feels traditional. It's not in the more <laughs> exciting way. Even though you can kind of see the imagery on this card is definitely leaning a certain way with the chain. Um, <laughs> say that again. I'm sorry. Um, so you can read the double two different ways. Um, the one way in this deck, there's a a chain. It's a ball and chain, literally. But, yeah, it's a ball and chain. It means um, enslavement to fears and an, addic an addiction to fear. Um, addiction to slowing things down and not going for it. Yeah, and uh, this addiction to, like, I just won't go for it because um, it didn't work out then, so I just won't do it now. Um, that's the lie to yourself, that things won't work out because... You're just stuck in a rut of, um, like, your brain, you know, those, like, neurons and stuff. That it's oh, just yeah, a path my brain that is messed up. traveled a lot, so it's very easy, and when you're worried, it's just easier to, to the, go the less resistant path. Um, but all that does is just make you feel less and less connected to everyone and um, really out of balance and really unfulfilled. Um, and it's not going to bring you even enough. It, it will contribute to more lack in your life of everything. Um, this addiction to um, playing small. Okay. That's all we got. Goodness. Oh, all right. God. Yay! That's all for today, everyone. Thank you for watching and seeing our different tarot readings that we had for you today. Um, if you want to check out M and Liv's video where we do psychic medium versus tarot reading, go check it out on their channel. Link will Meta Psychics! Be, link will be in the description box below. Also, if you want a medium reading, check out Liv. If you want a tarot reading, my information will be also in the description box. Freaking so, wild. So. Would recommend. Good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Crazy and stuff. coming from a psychic medium. <laughs> yeah. The more questions you ask, the better reading you will get. Um, and yeah, stick around for some new videos that I'll hopefully get uploaded soon. <laughs> 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 Check out these videos next. <laughs> Bye. Bye.